Hello everyone and welcome uh, to my Sunday morning. Uh, it's really a Sunday morning. I look kind of good though for being a Sunday morning. I'm extremely lagged at the moment. I've been up for a couple of hours and uh, uh, I'm, uh, I, I returned from Australia and New Zealand on Friday and uh, now I'm back and uh, instead of doing the... Uh, I need to turn off all the audio. Uh, instead of doing another FAQ, I kind of mistracked because I was delayed into Sweden this past Friday. So I didn't get a chance to pre-record an FAQ. So I figured, hey, let's make a live FAQ. Ugh. <sighs> I don't know why. Just do it. Clap. There it is. Oh, shit. Okay, I have to make sure my Instagram post is up. Are, guys, seriously, are you having problem with Face ID on your iPhone? Or am I just like super ugly? Come on. Nope. Okay. Fuck you then. Okay. Already demonetized, by the way. Uh, Instagram. Yes, it's up. It's live. Welcome, you beautiful, beautiful people. Currently 521 people in here right now. And uh, yeah, you know. I kind of prepared for this being a very small live event, so I have a couple of questions pre-arranged for you guys. And, uh, yeah, I will obviously answer some of your questions as well here, but seeing how many, there's 80 messages per minute, even though I set like a slow mode limit to you guys, so you can't post every second. Uh, so, uh, yeah, cool. Nice to see a lot of people in there. And nice to see a lot of new members as well. We have Alex Neges, Daniel Farrell, AWB, B, Riley, shit, a lot of new people. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, yeah, should we just start? I guess. Okay. First question. Look at this. I'm, I prepared this. Look at this. Hey Ola, is there a reason why Feared is currently inactive? Also, ketchup or mayo? Huh? Do you like that? That was live. I put that question in there live. And uh, what was the question again? <laughs> uh, is there a reason why Feared is currently inactive? Okay, so the Feared album Svart was released uh, end of 2017. It's one and a half years ago. And um, uh, since then, I've been jacking up my YouTube channel. And uh, I just put a lot more YouTube content out there. And I also recorded my solo album. And, you know, uh, so it's not that, that the band is inactive. It's just, just that I have a shit ton of other things to do. And uh, But there will be an album. I just don't know when, because right now it's, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I want to do an album, but then again, there also has to be a new The Haunted album and uh, you guys need content and uh, it's not, I'm not making it easy for myself. Uh, what was the question? other question? Ketchup or mayo? I'm definitely a ketchup guy. Mayonnaise is, is, uh, mayonnaise, May mayonnaise, the guitars, they're great, but mayonnaise the one that uh, it's fine mayonnaise is fine i just prefer ketchup that's just it okay we have a guy can you check out some riffs from my album it's on my youtube from justice gash thank you so much justice uh how the fuck do i do that i have no idea <laughs> this is just a fuck fest right here okay just ju uh justice gas okay gas okay I will do that later. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Um, Guitaraholic, do you tour with Feared? No, I do not tour with Feared. Uh, because that means I have to bring in the members. We have to practice. We're going to get uh, shit pay. And it's not going to be worth it. So there you go. When Feared is, you know, get the, the, the money as Dream Fitter, then maybe we can go tour. <laughs> which uh, will never happen, but there you go. Okay, next question. Uh, hello, Ola, is that your, it's from Bobby Sanders, by the way, uh, Bobby Sanders. Uh, look look at the, look at this uh, clipping uh, or editing, live editing right here. Uh, Bobby Sanders, sir, uh, Sanders, sir. Hello, Ola, is that your wife in the video, the mayor? If yes, you the man. Yes, that is my wife. And uh, that's what you call uh, zero budget <laughs> musical video right there. I basically just bought uh, shittiest, uh, smallest uh, smoke machine and uh, old lamp, and I just hung it in this ceiling, actually. 
that was it. And you know, people cost money, so I brought in my wife <laughs> to be a lady and whammon in the video. So there you go. That's just a really, uh, that, yeah, that's like a budget of 50 bucks right there, that video. And obviously my cameras, but I had good cameras before, so. Uh, uh. Okay, great. Okay, we have Dahapo. Hey, Dahapo, what's up? Hey, Maula, here's some coin. Go towards new studio. Oh, thank you so much. You beautiful, beautiful member. Uh, are you a member? Yes, you are. Brooding Brew, thank you so much. Holy shit, contributions. I love that. Okay, great. Should I take a question here? Oh. Uh, top three Megadeth songs from Jacob Harmon. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can I I think I can probably name on, only like two Megadeth songs. I'm such a I'm not that huge of a Megadeth uh, fan. Uh, Bob Scheider, favorite Pantera album and favorite Dimebag solo. This is a really hard one. Favorite Pantera album uh, is is a tough it's a draw between uh, uh, Cowboys from Hell, Vulgar, and Far Beyond Riven and Great the Great. And uh, people are like, you know, they're like, oh, well, why the fuck do you hate uh, Reinventing the Steel? I do not hate Reinventing the Steel. It's a good album. It's just not as good as the other four that I mentioned, okay? Chill the fuck out. I don't hate any Pantera album. Okay. Uh, 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 favorite Dime Solo? The Sleep, probably. Cow Smell. Check it out. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, next question. Uh, Luki Vilan, hi Ola, what kind of jobs did you have before becoming a musician, YouTuber? Your album is amazing, thank you so much. Uh, I had, uh, I think I started my whole working journey at uh, a place called Bonver uh, in Sweden, which distributes all, like, distributes all the, the DVDs and CDs to all of the uh, gas stations. So I was, I was working there for, for a while. And then I worked at the cosmetic cosmetics department at a huge Stockholm department store called NK and I worked there with all the ladies which was uh, awesome and then I started working as a butler driving uh, you know iron shirts and cakes to companies and in that company I did so well because I'm awesome uh, I became the head of customer support and service and then after that I got to become the head of uh, um, accounting for that firm. So there you go. That was me basically, uh, was, you know, sneaking my way up the, the company like that. And then that was my last job as an accountant. And I quit my job to become a YouTuber in 2012. It was excellent. So uh, yeah, there you go. I've had a couple of stray jobs as well. I worked in a, in a guitar store on uh, weekends for a while. And good story, actually. Uh, I was working this guitar store, and I had to open up the store, and I was like the only guy working there because it was a small store. And one time, I was so hungover, I got a call from my boss at 11.30 a.m. asking where I was. I was supposed to open the store at 10 a.m. And that event of me being late because I was drunk and hungover, that has changed my life perspective. And now, I'm never late. I'm always like early to whatever meeting I have or to whatever, you know, whatever. I'm always, I, I, I'm never late because being late sucks. If you're the guy being late, you suck, okay? If you're, if, if you're like going to rehearsal and there's five people in the band and uh, there's one guy, the drummer, who's late, you fuck all the other guys in the band, okay? Don't be late, be in time. <laughs> uh, sweet, okay. Uh, Ricardo Pimpao, thank you so much for the contribution. Cat Send Music, when do you move to your new awesome house? Okay, this has been a little of a misunderstanding, I think. And I wasn't this, I guess it's because I, I was a little, uh, I wasn't really clear when I made my buying my house video. But the point of the house is that it's a separate house. We still live here because of schools and whatnot in, uh, in this apartment. And... Uh, Buying this house is more like a countryside house, okay? But with that said, it's not as far away. So we're going to look at the possibility of moving to that house because right now, obviously, it's very expensive to have two uh, living spaces and uh, I'm not that rich. So it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, we probably have to move there at some point. 
which I'm fine with. It's just that I have to prepare right now and uh, starting all the, you know, the renovation and making the studio happening and all that. So it's, uh, oh, I'm watching myself clap. Watching myself, <laughs> watching myself clap. It's early morning. Okay, guys, give me a break. Ah, is the audio okay, by the way? Can you hear me? Or is the music way too loud? Let me know. There. Uh, will you listen to the new tool? What? Okay, you're way too quick, you assholes. And what the hell happened now? Oh, oh, oh. What? What? Okay, I have to open a new window. This is way too fucky for me. Demonetized, by the way. Okay, I saw a question here from uh, Sam. He was asking, tell, tell us about Melbourne. And uh, as all of you guys know, I just returned from uh, a tour with At The Gates and The Haunted uh, in Aust and Witchery in Australia and New Zealand. And it was an excellent tour. And uh, I got to jump in and play bass guitar with At The Gates, which is super awesome. Uh, Jonas, who's playing bass in both At The Gates and The Haunted, uh, had a family matter a couple days before we left. Obviously, he stayed at home because family matters. It goes first, okay? So uh, I got to join in with At The Gates and play a bunch of their songs. Basically, all the songs that they were playing from Slaughter of the Soul. So I got to go up to play bass with At The Gates and play all the most awesome songs. Isn't that awesome? I have a vlog coming up this coming week, okay? You should definitely check it out. It's It was a really good uh, tour, I would say. Okay. Uh, Sander was asking. Thank you so much, Sander. Hi, Ola. Ever been to Bornholm? It's just below Ystad. I've been to Bornholm when I was like uh, two years old. Uh, Kyle Fox is asking. Will you listen to Tool's new album if it's released before Heat Death of the Universe? I would probably uh, listen to Tool's new album. I mean, how can you not? They're basically... I mean, what they've done, you know, they basically, they basically, when was the last time they released an album? I think it was 2006. And how can a band stay that significant without releasing any albums? That's, that's very unique. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to listen to it. We're almost up to a thousand people right now. We're 988. Thank you so much. This video will be available after the live stream, okay? Uh, okay, uh, where was I? Alex Nequess, what's up, Alex? Hi, well, thanks for everything you do. Question, best standard A string gauges for Solar A two-point baritone. I use 13 to 62 and still quite loose. Been struggling to find best fit for months. <laughs> okay, so standard A is kind of low. I think you would probably need to go with a 7D as a bottom string on that one, or like even like 72 or 74. So uh, that that yeah, I ha I'm not y that used to standard A. And uh, on 26 and a half scale length, I don't know. It's it's hard to say. Brian B, what trends, good or bad, do you see for the future of metal music? Oh shit, that's that's a question way too big for my head right now. Oh, a thousand and five people watching. Thank you so much. Trends. I think that uh, I think electronical music uh, will get more. Tangled into metal music because I see the the rise of you know, like retro I don't know what you call it like synth like retro synth that sounds like old video games, you know and uh, Carpenter Brute for instance, which is a great band. He plays solar guitars by the way uh, Carpenter Brute and stuff like that. I think that will become more of a thing merging into metal and that will be a new thing and uh, That's me being Olaf uh, trying to uh, uh, What okay? Charlie Cis Cisneros. Okay, this is going real well, guys. Thank you so much for the contribution. Ola, your album rocks. Are there any other instruments besides guitar you want to learn? I'd appreciate it if you check out my EP. I will. Uh, any instruments I would learn? Uh, I really like the violin. But uh, I'm not going there. Piano. I would like to be better at piano, I guess. Uh, I don't care about drums. I just use superior number three. That's perfect. I don't need to learn drums. Uh, Cameron Winters, thanks for the, all the he great, helpful content. Thank you so much, Cameron, okay? Keith Houston, hi, Ola. Love the great content. My question is what budget studio monitors do you recommend? Okay, so before I had these, I had Behringer. No, I ha I'm, I, I'm lying. I had Yamaha monitors. But before that, I had Behringer monitors. <laughs> monitors. <laughs> you know? The thing with studio monitors and me is like, 
I don't really care if it's an expensive or, you know, perfect studio monitor. I play really well with the Behringer's I had. And then, you know, Dinaudio sent me these and I just switched them out because I got them for free. Uh, but I would, you know, the Behringer ones, which are basically knockoffs of high-end uh, brands, they're excellent. They're good enough for me. I mean, it's... Uh, I don't know what to say. I think people spend a lot, way too much money on studio monitors. It's more about how you learn your monitor situation. And uh, that's it, basically. I mean, when I started, I mixed on fucking Altec Lansing computer speakers that were bit this big. Yeah, that worked for me for a little while. But uh, yeah, there you go. Thank you so much, uh, Heath. Sack P. Hola, what's your opinion on Converge? I assume you know him. If not, I highly recommend uh, Jane Doe or Dark Horse. Okay, I'm not that familiar with Converge. I know about Kurt Ballou and those guys, and he has an amazing studio. He's an amazing product uh, producer, engineer, but I'm not really that, uh, you know, I haven't really listened to it, but I will. Thank you so much for the tip and for uh, five bucks. Thank you so much. <laughs> Michael Mustillo. Oh, oh shit, is that 666 Euro, uh, rubles? Or whatever it is. Would you do a world tour if the pay was good enough or are you done with the full-time band gig? This is a great question and it hits really home for me because I'm in a situation right now where, you know, I'm doing this for a living. My wife is helping me out. She's an employee of my company and, you know, Doing tours and for, you know, it has to be paid well. Otherwise, I cannot survive. I mean, when I'm gone, nothing happens at home. I can't make videos. Uh, now, before the Australian tour, I had to, uh, you know, stock up on videos. And I had to work like an asshole just to have videos for when I was gone. So basically, you know, if, if, the, uh, if the pay would be much better, it would make a lot more sense for me to go on tour. But right now... You know, I almost have to stay at home to be able to cover uh, and support the family, basically. So, but then again, right now, The Haunted is not touring that much, which suits me really well. And that's why I say also that fear needs to, you know, it needs to be a proper payment. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. You know, everything stops when I'm gone, you know, at home and videos and all. So, you know, and I have to keep the YouTube thing going. Otherwise, I will die uh, on YouTube, not, not in real life. Maybe I'll die in real life. I don't know. Thank you so much, uh, Michael. Mark, fuck you guys. You're way too quick. Which plugin preset gets closest to the Svart tone? What amps were used on it? Should I buy a 5150 or Invective 120? Never had a 5150 before. Okay. Uh, on Svart, I think it was a mixture of the Satan and an EVH, actually, uh, that Mark Lewis reamped. And uh, plugins, I think the uh, NTS. And the nameless from uh, Neural is the best metal plugins out there right now. It uncom uncompromisable. Just go check them out. Fuck, we're 11.05 people right now watching. Great. Thank you so much for uh, being in there and sharing this lovely, lovely morning with me. Mm. My son is out there playing Zelda, by the way. It's way quiet. Reward, Kaliwan. It's going good. He's a good guy. I bought him the expansion packs yesterday. So, I mean, he already finished the game. He just wanted to play more. And I bought him the expansion packs so he can find new stuff. Tony Peepers, what up? Fuck. What's up? Peepers uh, Pels. I have it. Where is it? Uh, it's, it's, oh, here it is. Tony Peepers is in here. He, uh, he made this pedal and he gave it to me when I was in uh, New Zealand. Wellington. Yes, when I was in Wellington. Great. Thank you so much. I'll give it a shot someday. Uh, what's up? Okay. Oh, 5150 or uh, Invective. I would definitely go with the EVH 5150. It's it's a no-brainer. It's like it's a sta it's basically a new standard, I would say the EVH 5150 and uh, it's a classic already. So there you go. It's a good uh, it's a good Swedish English Swedish Seth L, what's up, Ola? I'm going to see Slayer, Cannibal Corpse, and Napalm Death next Saturday. What do you think about that lineup? Would you go? Fuck yes, I would go. Slayer, shit yeah. Cannibal Corpse, fuck yeah. Napalm Death, shit yeah. Wow, <laughs> answering the questions like a boss. Uh, okay, Brooding Brew. Minus one subscriber, by the way. Right, 
If you want to test my... Fuck is happening right now. If you want to test uh, my feelings right now, you can unsubscribe live. Okay, let's wait for it. Can someone please unsubscribe and then resubscribe? Hello. Okay. But let's wait for it. Maybe it kind of waits for a batch or something like that. It updates every minute. Uh, okay. Holy sh... <laughs> Minus 41. You fucking assholes. I love it. Okay. Please subscribe. <laughs> that's amazing. Holy shit. That, that's a good moment right there. Okay. I will definitely go. Thank you so much, Seth, for the contribution. Brooding Brew. Dang it. Forgot to send my question with the super chat. Take my money. Least favorite metal albums. Least favorite metal albums. Oh, that's that's hard. Uh, wow, shit. I haven't really... I have to make a... I think I have to make a top 10. Uh, plus 11. Come on. <laughs> that means there's 20 people that haven't resubscribed. You fuckers. This is gonna fuck up with my uh, analytics. And, you know, the, the algorithm. It's not good. Guys, please subscribe. I need you... <laughs> Uh, I have to make a separate video of the uh, least favorite metal bands, I think, I, because I have to think about it. But, Brooding Brew, thank you so much, okay? I love you. Don Kendall is the new STL on the same level as Neural DSP. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, personally, the Neural DSP stuff, like I said earlier, is, but I think that's next level right there. They, they, they sound absolute... They sound the best for Mel, but with that said, the STL, uh, I released a video uh, two days ago of the Will Putney uh, thing, is just a really good plugin for having a mixed tone. So if you are if you want a mix ready tone for your album, I think that STL tonality is a really good choice. It's just like plug and play, you just set up the uh, presets for whatever album you want or like the presets from Will, and it sounds excellent from the start. You don't have to mix anything. And you use that with the bass uh, presets he has as well, and it's good to go, basically. So there you go. It's 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 about what you want, basically. Okay? Thank you, Don. Uh, Joseph L. Dean, if you couldn't play Randall Amp, which is a second and maybe third choice? Great question. Uh, I think uh, my Tremo Verb is probably one of my favorite amps that I own. And... Uh, what else? Hair. I'm losing hair, you guys. I'm, I'm getting old. Um, tremor verb. Great. What else? I have a, a 5150 PV original block letter. Oh, no, it's the signature one. That sounds excellent. I don't know. I don't know. But those are those are real good amps. I just love all my amps. Uh, Mark II C plus, of course, is a good amp. Okay, Diego Rossier, when was the first time that you heard Dimebag? Thank you so much, Mexican 20 bucks. Uh, first time I heard Dimebag was the first time I heard Walk, and that was probably 1993 or 4 or something like that. I heard on uh, After School Activity, they had like a guessing game for, for songs, and the song Walk came up there, and I was like, holy shit! That's so fucking heavy. I never heard anything like that. And uh, since then, I've been uh, totally, uh, you know, obsessed with Dimebag and his tone. Thank you so much, Diego. Uh, Jonathan Denny, what's your best advice for tracking rhythm, rhythm guitar and finding yourself getting frustrated with not getting a satisfying take? Well, best advice. I think the best advice I have is just to do it. Do it! Just do it! It's a boring answer, but, you know, I think I've come to the point where I am today because I've just been tracking so much rhythm guitar to drums and clicks and whatnot. Eventually, it's just like practicing. You have to practice to track, and you have to practice to write riffs. It's, it's just a practice routine. So I think that just overdoing it will help you get better, okay? Thank you, uh, Jonathan. Jonathan? Uh, s shit, thank you so much guys, you're excellent by the way, you're, uh, you're giving me way too much money right here. Silverbird79, hey, saw you in Brisbane, the S1.6 LTD Orange disappeared off the site, please tell me it's, if it's coming back, I'd rather buy it from you than a Euro seller I found. Uh, okay, I don't know, actually, maybe it disappeared. Fuck, I should know better, but I don't, because I'm an asshole. But, uh, I don't know, maybe it's coming back. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, I have to think about that, actually. I have to look it up somewhere. Okay, Jim Pierce, sorry. Uh, Jim Pierce, I watch every Sunday with my seven-month-year-old daughter. Always look forward to your content and advice. Bro, very inspiring. Come to the UK. Thank you so much, Jim. I... Mwah. Micah likes to drum. Have you ever played a PV VTM? No, I've never tried one. Would you please do a gear? Will you shout out, check out my band, This Small Dream, on Spotify? Check it out, This Small Dream. Thank you so much. This is becoming. A, people are kind of paying me money to shout out their bands right now. Um, explosive action. Did you buy anything at Utopia Records in Sydney? It's funny, your name. I didn't buy anything there when I was at that shop. Because I had to go because I really needed to take a shit. So your uh, name, Explosive Action, kind of goes well with this question, actually. <laughs> uh, Kristen, thank you so much. <laughs> Kristen Gall, hey, hola, EVH5150606 or EL34? Mm, that's a great question. I really like the PV5150 with uh, uh, EL34. And I tried Jensen's uh, EVH5150, the smaller one with the EL34. sounded awesome i just it's just more even more gnarly you know um yeah you should definitely get an evh el34 no questions asked okay aimer alamanetti hola any chance for coffee with mikael okerfeld or possibly a collab would love to see you too i'm trying my best okay i will make one with uh, uh frederick of opeth first and uh, probably when they release an album this uh, later this year i'll probably hope to make one with Michael okay thank you so much David Petson oh Femty Spam thank you so much Tuck hola hola have you ever heard of Monogarm Swedish folk metal band they have some amazing songs like Blue Dumb uh, I'm aware of them but I'm not sure I can say that I've heard them to be honest uh, uh, sorry David Jimmy Gleed new member <laughs> clap thank you so much okay next question shit I'll let's uh, 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 Subatomic, The Haunted on Nail the Mix. Can you tell us something about the recording of Preachers of Death? Yes, if you haven't seen already, Preachers of Death is on Nail the Mix right now, so you can do something with it. But uh, saying something about uh, recording of Preachers of Death, I don't know. It's it's not something uh, special. We went to uh, uh, Russ Russell, recorded drums. I went home, recorded the guitar, and that's it. Actually, the song was, uh, it's one of those songs that just took a really long while to finish. I think it's, I, I, I already had that uh, riff and groove back in 2014, maybe. I just didn't get it to work. And it's just one of those songs that I had to really work hard. Minus two? What the fuck? Slop. Uh, it's just one of those songs that uh, had to, uh, where I had to work really hard to get it, you know, get it done, basically. And usually those songs are the shittiest ones. <laughs> So there you go. Uh, Garrett Norris. Hi, Ola. Hope to see you live someday. What's your favorite guitar tone you've ever heard? I don't know. There's different type of guitar tones I like. And, uh, you know, my tremor verb with a uh, Ibanez uh, TS9 is, is close to, you know, success, I would say. But then again, you know, it's Randall Satan. And that's also a really good dry tone. And, you know, the Dimebag rigs that I've been doing, that's also a favorite tone. I, I, I don't know. There you go, but thank you. Uh, I don't know, what? Natas, hola, do you prefer tube or solid state amps? I'm going to buy one of your guitars because you're handsome. Oh, I'm handsome, thank you. Um, I, I, I prefer tube amps, but uh, with that said, I don't think I, I think there are way too many. Uh, I, there's just so many options with tube uh, amps if, if you compare to um, solid state. Usually the solid state is, you know, entry-level amps are usually shit but uh so that's why i prefer uh tube amps you know but they're really expensive that's for sure okay from victor and salmo oh are you guys related i doubt it hey Allah, been watching your vlogs religiously every week for some time now i love the fuck guys what are you doing <sighs> 1115 people great uh, question, do you think the Boss Katana 102 by 12 is a good beginner gigging up? Uh, yes, definitely. If you care to lug it around, you know, because it's probably heavy. I don't remember. I haven't lifted one, I think. But yes, the Boss Katana stuff, you know, 
Again, I'm not sponsored by Boss. I'm just stating my opinion, but the Boss Katana stuff, I think, is great. <laughs> if you're an entry-level play... What? What happened there? He's fighting a Lionel out there. Um, I think they're great amps for uh, just getting up and running, and they sound great, too. So, you know, that's why I recommend them, because it's just easy. They sound good for most people. Thank you so much. Cat Sen, once again, release date for the same cut. I need this guitar. Okay, soon. <laughs> very, very soon, okay? Take it easy. Take it easy. Cat Sen Music, thank you so much. Troy Ibarra, greetings from Texas. Will you be coming to the US soon? Also, check out my band, The Grave Aesthetic. Check them out. Uh, I'm, not, uh, I, I, I'm not sure. Maybe next time I go to US is probably for Nan, but maybe I'll be there before. Who knows? Huh? Just throwing it out there. Silverburst, when you find out about the S1.6, please let me know. Brett Watson, what do you think about the... Just send me an email, okay? I'll fix it for you. Uh, what do you think of PV JSX 120 Watt? Ever used one? No, I never used a one, but I had a PVXXX, which they said later would become the JSX. So, uh, and that amp is underrated, I would say. It's a really good amp, and it kind of like flew under the radar for a lot of people. And uh, But it's a great amp. PV uh, XXX. Uh, Alex, uh, hola, long time fan. What are your thoughts on the X? Uh, that's a boring question. Uh, it, okay, it, no. It's a great XX, XFX3 FM. I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, I actually uh, asked to have two. Buy th I, I, I wanted to buy two. So hopefully they'll arrive soon. Or when they're ready. I, I don't know when. Uh, hey, hola, the Cyril X Slayer. Try to read your own name. Okay. Ona Ernia. Simple as fuck. Okay, great. Chris Gar. Hi, Ola. What do you think about Glenn Fricker? Okay, Glenn Fricker. We actually go way back in the Andy Sneep form. And Glenn is one of the guys right now that is. I think he has one of the greatest producer channels out there. He's just. You know, it's for home, rec like the home recording channel. That's Glenn's right there. He has it covered. And, uh, you know, he has really good tips. I, I like him because he swears. And, you know, he, he seems to be himself, which I really like on the channel. And he's just like, he's just a really cool dude. You know? So, if you haven't checked out Glenn Fricker, and if you're into home recording, go subscribe to his channel. He's excellent. Okay. Joke. Free guitars. Hi, Ola. I recently restored a dime Razorback. Someone cut off some of the two bottom horns. And I'm thinking of changing the DMT pickups for SD dime set. Help. Sure. Why not? I think it's a good idea. I mean, the Dimebacker is what's... It's probably the simplest way of getting closer to Dimebacker's tone today. Because the Bill Lawrence pickups are uh, really hard to come by. So, yeah. I think it's a good idea. Hi, Olan Luis. I remember when people... Yeah, this is from Ricardo, by the way. Uh, Hi, Olan Luis. Remember when people used to say that you made all the gear sound awesome, but also sound the same. Could it be that once we have a particular sound in our head, we always try to make any gear sound like that? I mean, we adapt our picking style and so on. Uh, make uh, What? Okay, so, uh, yeah, he's talking about my tone, basically. My finger tone. And, uh, you know, when I started my YouTube channel, I got a lot of shit for sounding the same through all the amplifiers. And it's like... People thought that I was mixing my my amp tones, you know, and making everything sound the same. But <laughs> I didn't do shit. You know, I, it's not my problem or it's not my fault that I sound the same for amplifiers. It's just, uh, uh, it's just a confirmation that finger tone means a lot, you know. And um, obviously, I try to set the amp to, you know, when I dial the amp, you know, I have a sound that I think like, okay, this is this is a good tone, and uh, I don't know what to say. Also, one thing to, to mention is that I play those through my same, you know, all those amps through the same cabinet, usually, and that also affects the tone. I think, like, the capturing of a cabinet is probably like 70 or 80 percent of guitar tone right there, and obviously the finger tone goes through as well. So, yeah, it's not my fault that it, everything sounds the same, okay? Uh, okay, Sam Dean, sorry to bug you about Australia, mate, but... Can you tell me anything about the food there? See any spiders? Whammon? Yeah, uh, I didn't see any spiders, but uh, I saw a bunch of kangaroos, which was awesome. I saw one that was uh, was hit by a car, and it was massive. Probably like 200, 300 kilos. Um, 
Whammon! I saw Whammon, but I don't really pay that much attention to Whammon. I, I wanted to see kangaroos. <laughs> uh, food! I don't know. Uh, what? Uh, you people are just, you guys are just messing with me right now. You're trying to, you know, uh, you know, throw me off guard or something like that. But it's not gonna happen. Uh, food. I just ate the basic food, I guess. Uh, was there anything good I ate? Nah, it was standard. Then again, you know, I, I didn't really have a local guide or anything take me to some something somewhere special. I had a really good one in Brisbane, though. I don't remember. The, uh, I don't remember the name. I have to look it up. Sorry, hola, answering of questions. Michael, hi, is the matte finish on Solar Guitars real matte or an unpolished gloss finish that will turn gloss with time? Well, the thing is that... Let me see if I have a guitar. It's... The finish is called... If you have a, a satin matte finish, it's... Uh, this is actually uh, in between, between gloss and matte, which is called semi-gloss. And it's way more, uh, you know... What the fuck are you guys doing? Uh, you're messing with me. And the semi-gloss is just way... Looks just way more awesome. And, and it's not as prone to give those really uh, glossy spots on the guitars. But I don't have one to show. But I had, like, the first artist guitar that I had. Had that ultra matte finish. And, uh, I mean, if you play them a lot and uh, sweat a lot, you're gonna get some, some of that gloss, you know, glossiness going on, but... I, okay, I, I have to... Okay. Switch to clock, because you guys are fucking with me. Uh, so, I mean, after... I, I have a tip for you. If you play your guitar, please clean it off afterwards, okay? It's more prone to not get that gloss surface if you clean it off properly af after every use, okay? Thank you. Um... Tyler Britton. Oh, what's up, Britton? Something you like to see Neuro DSP do next. I don't know. A dime bag plug, maybe. That would be awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Dukas, new member. Ivan Kenseko. One dollar. Thank you so much. I don't ka. Hi, Ola. I would like to... I would like playing guitar. Someone in the past told me my fingers are short and bass are a better option. But I gave a damn playing bass guitar. Would I need to pay attention to start playing guitar? You know, you can always start on a shorter scale guitar, like 2475 or something like that. Uh, because the scale length is shorter, you probably won't have a problem with playing guitar. I mean, that's just a, like, I, I understand if, if your finger was like this, like this long, it would be a problem. But if you have like this, it's because you can play guitar, no problem. Uh, Seth, what's up again? Did you ever own a crate amp or use one? And when was the last time Toy shot Luis with a Nerf gun? Ah, uh, that was a long time ago. That basically the house video. I haven't been able to play that much around with Nerfs. But uh, I, I had the crate block amp, which was basically a small power amp. That was good, I guess. My a friend of mine had the crate Blue Voodoo, which was great. 39 minutes, holy shit, okay. How long will I go? Probably one hour straight, okay? Uh, Chiara Sonata's music, music. What's your favorite bands that inspire you? Mine's Stratovarius. Oh. And Bathory. Well, people who have been members and subscribers to my channel know that Dimebag and Pantera is probably still the <laughs> biggest inspiration for me. <gasps> Hate Creation, new member. Great. Next. Oh, that, oh, shit, that was the last question. All right, okay. Uh, was that really the last question? Silver Slayer. Uh -huh. Silver Slayer. Okay. That was actually the last question. Okay. But uh, let's just keep it on. What's up? Why Samuel Paloni? Why is Pizza Hawaii called like Pizza Hawaii? Because I think it would spark some controversy, and people, you know, people just don't like the idea of having pineapple on a pizza. So that's uh, I think the song is like, you know, that that song is basically as far as I would go from the standard Ola England metal chugging right there. So you know, the contrast, Pizza Hawaii. I, I don't know. Fuck. Uh. Sander is asking, Sander's member, how does it work with changing between endorsements? Does the brand generally understand and accept it, or will they have a grudge? What is your experience? Okay. Great question. If you're jumping endorsement and whatnot, I mean, it depends on how and why you jump endorsements. I mean, personally, I never had a quarrel with a brand 
you know, or left them for a, a weird purpose. I mean, when I left Strictly 7 for Washburn, you know, Washburn were supposed to uh, help me to bring in my own models into the market, which, you know, it just, it, that just made sense. I mean, Strictly 7 were small, Washburn a lot bigger. I just wanted to, you know, take over the world. And I had a really good um, closure with Strictly 7. And we were both happy and it was on good terms. And, you know, I, I, I did my part. They did their part. No grudge or anything like that. And with Washburn, you know, I started my solo guitars. And, you know, I would probably never have left Washburn if it wasn't for me starting solo guitars. So I would probably not have shifted to another brand, to be honest. But uh, sw switching to my own brand makes all the sense. So uh, it's all about the matter how you do it. And I know a lot of people, and I see some of them that are jumping brands, and it does not look good for them. But uh, in the end of the day, who cares as long as they're happy? Okay, just don't be an asshole, just be nice, you know? Uh, okay, do we have anything more? Oh, okay, great. Okay, very quiet for a while. Uh, oh, quite hi. Thoughts on Matt Heafy? Uh, to be honest, I I don't know him personally. I follow him on Instagram, and that's ba that's that's basically it. And uh, he seems like a really cool dude, and he's doing Twitch streams and all that. And he seems to be uh, becoming really active on the social media, which you know is awesome. And uh, yeah, but I don't know him personally. Is he good? I think he's probably a really nice guy. He seems he seems like a really nice guy. I probably have to meet him. He has to come for a coffee with Ola someday. Is he coming to Sweden? Probably not. Uh, okay. What is that white box to the left of your torpedo? Yeah, you're talking about this? This is a hard drive. It's not that sexy. Okay. Metal Fender guy. Hola, congrats on the house. New house. Do you like my name? <laughs> I do like your name. Metal Fender guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Don't know what to say. Okay. Shit. I think we're actually kind of... Look at my face right there. Shit. Alright. Why the cat picture on your solo album? Great question. Because you guys are assholes. <laughs> the cat picture was actually, uh, you know, the first cat picture was basically a draft. I didn't want to uh, show the the album artwork too early, so I just put the cat cat on there. And then everyone's like, "Oh, we have to keep the cat. Oh, I'm not gonna buy the album unless the cat is on there." So you're the fucking reason why there's a cat on the album. Then the cat is in inside the album now. I don't have an album. Here. <laughs> so there, uh, yeah, there you go. It's your fault. I love this guitar, by the way. I think I'm becoming more of a Floyd Rose guy again. I used to play Floyd Rose uh, way back, but uh, then I kind of like, you know, not did. You know what's good with Floyd? It's a good trick. If you're not that good of a guitar player, you can always Floyd around. And it sounds like you're a good guitar player. And that's great for me. <laughs> okay, plug and play. Shit, I don't even have anything to plug and play. Okay. I hope I don't have porn on my computer now, on my Mac. I know I don't. Okay. Ow! All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Can I open up something? Oh. Uh, tell me a joke, you guys, while I'm doing this. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Cat is true cult. Kiara Sonata Music, thank you so much. Dan Schuster, thank you so much. Mel Fender Guy, watch my cover on New Level. I will. Brassette is asking, all any plans on a 7-string multiscale? Uh, what? Or audio. What? It's my 
Oh, I have to turn my audio interface on. Uh, seven string multi scale. Nah, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to see. There's a lot of comments, guys. Shit. How the fuck am I supposed to answer all these questions? I guess it's... Uh, you know, I cannot complain. Uh, it's nice to see a lot of people in here. It's uh, one f still one f a steady 1,115 people in here. That's amazing. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I love you. Okay, is there any audio? Uh, audio fade. Oh. Oh, is there going to be an... Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Old England. Uh, oh, you have to plug in the guitar. Oh, shit. Ola, scientist. 2019. Okay. Oh, I need to take a sound, too. What? Uh, okay. Th that's a good thing about... Uh, lead. Epic lead. What? What the fuck is... Epic lead. The good thing with I'm using Easy Mix by the way, just to grab my epic lead sound. Oh, okay. What is the scale length on the Solar 8? Uh, 27 inches. Just like my penis. Okay, how do I fix this? Now we have music. This is me improvising the force to Solar guitars. But, uh. This is me improvising for the Solar song in the background. I hope it's synced. Would a 20 watt tube amp through 2x12 be quiet enough for bedroom use in an apartment? Or should I get an attenuator with it? Uh, that would probably be perfect, I would say. <coughs> uh, for, for an apartment. It's just a lot more fun to play through a 2x12 uh, than a 1x12. <coughs> what the fuck? Am I still getting subscribers here? Yes! Plus one. Thank you so much. David Pettersson, Ola, will you be doing a Swedish tour around all cities? Uh, no, I will not. Okay, I hope it's... Oh, it's tuner. Oh, this is in standard uh, E. Sorry, the song is in standard D. Fuck. Okay. Uh, minus three, good. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> Sold short, uh, uh, Bracera, hola, I would buy a sun uh, multiscale immediately, please, okay, thank you. Sold shorts, do you have the eight string still? Can I request never lasting? Oh, shit. where is it? No, my wife took the eight string and took it out uh, for a photo shoot, so it's not here. Sorry. Which is good, because I don't understand, don't remember how to play never lasting. This is basically the only eight string songs I have. Uh... Listen to that. Uh, okay. You know what, guys? I'm going to answer a couple more questions, or like one. 
Uh, and then it's the end of the FAQ. And again, this FAQ will be available for you to watch later, okay? Um, hey, Ola, thank you for kind of liking my red guitar photos in the solar discussion group. Made me feel really nice. Thank you so much, man. Is it this? This is an excellent guitar. I love this guitar. Fuck, I, you know, it's... Uh, it's I, it's fun with these guitars, and I'm not trying... It's not... I don't want to sell myself here, but, but I am, obviously. Thank you, fuck face. But uh, basically... I always find like a favorite uh, here and there, and uh, same with this one, the uh, the baritone, and it's like, uh, I, it's fun. Okay, I'm just gonna be aus uh, honest here. It's really fun to be president of your own guitar brand because you get to, you get to play new guitars all the time, and it's uh, it's fun. I love it actually. It's uh, you know it's 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 luxury. Okay. Thanks for asking the question about Matt Finish. Will buy the S1.6 Poplar Barrel. Are they coming in soon? Your solo album is awesome. I think uh, we have a new batch of uh, pol Polar Burst, Poplar Burst coming in. And uh, go check the website. There should be an estimate there when it's uh, in stock again. So, yeah, guys. Being all quiet and shit. Thank you so much for staying with me for this FAQ. Uh, oh shit, I look like shit. At least I got to trim my nose hair before the FAQ, so good for me. Um, guys, again, thank you so much for uh, being with me in this FAQ. I'm all sweaty. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And maybe this will be more of a calming segment uh, once uh, every month or something like that. We'll just have to see. Um, a lot of people still, 1,115. What happened to the crotch cam? Well, oh, fuck you. Here it is, man. Here it is. <laughs> Demonetized right there. Great. Fuck. Crotch cam. There was this swam in uh, in Australia that wanted to see more crotch cam. That made me happy. <laughs> all right, guys. Again, thank you so much for uh, being this FAQ. I love you guys. And thank you to all my members as well. And uh, have a nice week. Remember, I have some good ass videos coming in uh, this coming week. A vlog. What else? Some something cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, guys, please go back subscribing. I I don't remember how many we were when we started. I have to back out the video. But please subscribe. Thank you guys. See ya. Oh, editing Ola. Editing live. Is that no? No, not that one. Okay, I found it. Bye.